We're live at New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team stormed the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo. He's on fire. Oh, You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. Bam! Oh man, that's the end of his day. You may want to try hurling those traps next time. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he punched his way out of that tackle. First and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the cube. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down in a very lot. <laughs> and he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interesting. He finds open space. And Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. First and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Third down and three. He's leaving a wake. 
wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Well They're going for two points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. First and ten. Huh? 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 I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw. Oh, man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. First and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. With moves like that, you know he's got a screw loose. Hey, can we get a handyman out there? Somebody? Drill? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He zigged when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Looks like someone uploaded some new dance moves. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace them. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Tom. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that 
That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Second down and long. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just... And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And the defense is on his heels. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up with a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing. I'm just marking his territory. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, it didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. He's at the 40. They're getting on him. Hey, come on. Move your ass. They got a soft left right on this asshole. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. They, they spend two years in the league and then they become bouncers at biker bars. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on his boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim.
That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Oh. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. I won't even get out of The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Flagged it for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. Okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <clears throat> and it's first and ten. <laughs> they pick up of about three on that play. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. I one, I two. This guy's a brick shit. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First down. Give this guy a few catches. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second and eight to go. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, man, he really wants it. He can go all the way. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't 
really know right now. What day is it? And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll can... Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. You might want to try hurling those traps next time. Oh, mama, just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out on the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. cereal the old nut crunch he's rumbling oh man his neck vertebrae just got crunched sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they say at the deli who's next oh uh, can i get a swiss on rye with uh no mustard and it's first and ten folks stay tuned for the halftime show and it's first and ten the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick the quarterback can't dump it and now they're gonna dump his ass the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock they have two left Second down in a lot. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. 
Third down and eight. territory the old-fashioned way but they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance i took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on scrim he damn near clawed my face off that was before the class even started and then my friends is why the world hates kickers i kind of feel sorry for him The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The 30. The 20. The 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Third and two. Timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strapeze show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. 
And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. Well, oh, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, that's the funeral expenses, that is. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and ten. before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Third down and long. over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And they line up for the extra point. It goes. 
rolls right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the... He's running out of gas now. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, I'm thinking of yours. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and six. Destruction in his path. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! He was stuck at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. First down and forever. And that'll be second and eight to go. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. He broke free and has open field in front of him. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Sork can really dance, huh? Uh, he was a ballet minor in college. Did a one man versus Swan Lake. Fell on the broad and killed her.
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's a block, and they get Zilt in the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 20. The 10. Here comes the defense. First down and one. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. And it's first and ten. Huh? And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot of and that guy is dead. Good riddance. He killed me in my fantasy game last week. I wanted a murder on myself. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the... Uh, Nashville Lichens were neutered today in a devastating loss by forfeit. Yeah, what's left of them is walking off the field with a tail between their legs. And that guy's carrying his tail. Oh, my God, ripped off. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chip dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.